Good morning friends. This is Harsh from Soft Illusion. So I have this question many times in my mind like can we have a mechanism which can elongate infinitely? So many scientists have thought about it and we have many physical components like telescopic cylinder scissor mechanism but this gives us high elongation but its initial length increases as we increase the final elongated length so in my journey in mechanical engineering i thought and got an answer ki how we can build an infinitely elongating mechanism with initial length as constant so concept of infinitely elongation elongating mechanism consider there are n linkages with all motorized so let's let's first see the basic concept visually and then go in depth so this considering there are seven links one above the other and each link has a motor initially has a motor so when we give power to motor with different rpm they go on expanding and if we see it faster we get expanded length so in this case we have considered seven linkages of length 10 each so when they are at home position the total length of mechanism is 10 mm and when it starts expanding it comes to 70 and you can see this point a b c d these points are motorized so this was a basic illusion how we can make an infinite elongating link so this was basics now let's consider and learn more about the calculation of this mechanism see how it contracts and comes back to 10 mm yes so now let's consider the calculations so this consisted of seven links motorized and at the end we will have the end effect so concept of calculation consider we need a total elongation length of 1 meter and initial or link length or contraction length possible in our mechanism is 100 mm so by simple calculation we can calculate that we will need 10 links each of 100 mm to get an elongation of 1 meter so similarly for any calculation number of links will be equal to total elongated length divided by link length but this linearity is only possible in linkages now let's calculate rpm of each motor on different points so the considering first motor with an rpm of 100 mm so first link will move with a speed of 100 mm so relatively we can calculate rpms of other links like if first link has 100 mm rpm second link should have 200 mm rpm third link 300 fourth link 400 similarly nth link will have n into 100 rpm that means the formula will be 
the nth link speed will be equal to speed of first link into n and at n plus 1 point there will be n defector so if we consider making this mechanism we get a characteristic changing shapes working so we again see the illusion and find out that in the course of movement these shapes are made while going to elongated length so initially there is a two vertex that is line then as we start motorizing it we get a triangle then square then pentagon hexagon similarly it will at last it will give us n vertex profile so we will see these things again so this time we have some insights so see initially we have a line then it becomes triangle see then it becomes a square then it becomes a pentagon then hexagon heptagon and similarly if there would be another link it would result into an octagon and finally it reaches the elongated position so now as we saw rpm characteristics let's find out that here in this case if first link moves one rotation there are total of seven links so one two three four five six seven so according to our calculation if point a that is first link moves one rotation h link should move seven rotations right so let's calculate number of rotation of h link so we'll start here is the h link so we'll start counting its location uh, rotations it is half one rotation then two rotation three rotation four rotation fifth rotation sixth rotation and finally seven rotation so our calculation of rotations and rpm rpm speeds is correct now let's consider one more point d that is fourth link so in this case point d will have three rotation because this point is at the end of third link so let's calculate rp uh, the rotations of point d so d point one rotation two rotation and three rotation let's again consider point so d starts from 10 so one rotation second rotation and third rotation so we are correct with the concepts of all the rpm so now let's trace n defector point so we can see that initially its expansion from origin is not faster but as we see from angle 202 to 180 it's it expands 
to a higher extent and similarly so this is basically the shape which end point follows so initially in its rotation it doesn't increase to an extent but as its point it started uh, starts here in last 20 degree of rotation it increases from uh, 10 mm to 70 mm so this was all about infinite elongation in GeoZebra thanks for watching the video if you like the video do share and refer my other videos for clearing other mechanical concepts thank you